my dearest Andromeda. Hi! This is your old pal Tilly, reporting in from the country. It's my first week here, and the weather is lovely. You can even see the whole galaxy at night. Trust me when I say that it is beautiful. I miss you so much. And that is with 17 O's, which you know I do not use lightly. I've been feeling a bit lonely without you, and unsure of what to do about it. So this morning, I decided to head to the woods to get some friendly advice. No, whoa, no, 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 no. <laughs> you see, here in the country, the woods are full of wise creatures. But for this problem, I needed advice from the wisest creature of them all. Oh, ancient Mr. Oak Tree, please enjoy this gift of filtered water from the house. Though, I admit, this isn't a selfless visit. I come seeking something. We know what you seek, Tilly. You wish to hear tree gossip. Oh, well, actually, I... Speak to her of the haircut. Ah, yes. Magnolia Tree has a new haircut. Leaves down to the forest floor. It is quite silly. And it makes us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate you guys. Actually, what I really need today is to ask you a question. You two trees have grown up so close together, it's no wonder you're best friends. But it got me thinking, what are you supposed to do when one of you moves far away? Ah, uh, yes. I have a friend like that. We were acorns together, but the wind blew him across the forest. Now, when I miss him, I just send him a few leaves to let him know how I'm doing. Thanks, bro! And so, Andromeda, that's how I got the idea to write you a letter. I hope this works for you. Write me back, will ya? Reading letters will make us feel like we're still close together. It'll be like nothing's changed. Warmest regards, your friend, Tilly Green. P.S. I anxiously await your reply. Dear Tilly, it's so good to hear from you. I've never gotten my own mail before. This is perfect. Letters are much better than email. The E stands for evil. Things have been good here, and I've been keeping busy. Really busy. I actually got a job recently at the Museum of Cryptozoology. It's great being able to put my expertise to good use. Plus, I'm great with the visitors. Are you interested in lizard people? Yes. Would you like to know more? Yes. Keep your guard up! They're listening to everything you say! Hey, kid, I told you before, stop freaking out our visitors! You don't even work here! Uh, sir, she is not affiliated with us! Okay, so technically, I'm a volunteer. Oh, by the way, I ran into Kiki, Benny, and Wheezy the other day. Hey, guys! I see you've met Goat Girl. Isn't she cool? 50% goat, 50% girl, 100% awesome! She has to live in the big city dump because society doesn't accept her, even though she's a lot like us. She's not like us. She's weird. What do you mean? What do you mean what do I mean? Just look at her. What's wrong with being weird? I don't know. Weird stuff is gross. And gross stuff is weird. That doesn't even make sense! Goat Girl is just misunderstood. Maybe if people took the time to get to know her, they would see that. I don't know. Cryptids give me the creep tits. I agree. They just don't belong here. That's it! They're all banned for life! For the last time, you can't ban people! You don't work here! Get out! They just don't get it. They saw something that was different and automatically assumed it was bad. But Tilly, you get that weird can be awesome. And that's one of the 358 reasons I love being your friend. I miss you so much. That's 18 O's and counting in solidarity and Andromeda. P.S. My mom signed me up for piano lessons. I'm a really fast learner. We should go find the big city go girl and start a band with her. <laughs> oh. Thank you.